Welcome everyone. Today I will be showing you how to create these cool action pop-outs in Canva. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to head over to your elements or your uploads to get your image. So I'm going to get one out of elements because I don't have a baseball player. So I need to get one. So he doesn't have a number on his jersey. So what I'm going to do is pick one out for him. So next, what you want to do is head over to Elements and head down to Frames, go to See All, head down to where you see it says Numbers, See All, and then you would put in the person's number, or for this one, we're going to pick one out. So I'm going to pick 28 for him. Now, see how he, he is in action? That's kind of how I want to line my numbers up. So I want to keep my numbers that way. Kind of like in this. And for my numbers, I want to put a little bit of an outline on it. So I'm going to go up here to the three lines, which is your stroke weight, and just put a hair bit of a outline on it. I think for now, do I want to do white? Let's just put it in white for right now. Let's do a white one, and maybe we can change it afterwards. So since I like that, I'm going to hit my little paint roller over here. Go here, copy that style, and put it on my eight. So now my outline matches on both of these. And if you want to, you can kind of do a little thing where this overlaps right here. So you can see how that kind of two goes into the eight. And this helps out too with a lot of pop outs where you got people that have numbers and you can't see them anymore. Because the pop out just takes the numbers really out of the equation. So that can help a little bit with that. So what I want now is I want three cop three copies of this image so I already have one and I'm going to duplicate this two more times so I'm going to align my first one into a frame my second one into a frame and then I'm going to put this one off to the side for the moment so we're going to bring these in to the center for the minute and then I'm going to take my first frame and then I'm going to make him where I want him to pop out so I kind of want his face here on the side Let's see, and get his mouth and all here, and his hand coming out the side here. I think that's good. Okay, so now I got the first one here. I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to try to make that and line him up over top. See, if you see my other video, I like to use masks when I did the deboss on the pop out. And I like using the D. I use. I like blah, blah, blah. I like using that method of using a mask because it is just way more easier than spending like all this time trying to line this up so it matches. Um, I think I got him lined up pretty good now. Everything kind of looks like it's going like it should and it's lined up pretty well. So now I can click out of that, click done, and I'm done. Now we're going to go back to our little extra here. I want to go ahead and remove the background on him. And here's a little tip. So if you see this, he's going to grab onto it. You don't want to do that. So what I want to do is go here. I'm going to press my lock once. And I'm going to click it again twice. I'm going to go to this one. Hit my lock once. Hit it twice. And that way when I'm working on it, that's not going to grab. So I'm going to go up to position. I'm going to put him on top. You can also go here and go into layer and put it to the front if that's what you want to do but this i like using the uh, layers panel so now what i want to do is line him over top and make sure that he's lined up over top of my frame so we're going to do the transparency down a little bit to see if he's lined up so we're going to go here i think he needs to be a little bit bigger and over here and you're just going to do your best because with, like i said with frames it kind of becomes a little bit of a pain in the butt and you can do some creative um lining up after the fact too so we can you just want to get it as close as possible so i'm going to turn that back up to 100 percent now that i got him very close now i want to do my first part of the pop out so i'm going to take him and i want to make sure all that eight is showing right there so I'm going to crop him to here. 
So now, and then I can see that I am not lined up. So I'm going to use my arrow key on my keyboard and just tap it up to where he's lined up. So now he's lined up and it looks good. So once you start create, uh, doing what I call the creative cropping, you can do that and use your arrow keys if you're on a um, laptop or a computer to fine tune that line up right there. So now he's lined up good. So what I want to do is duplicate this. I'm going to line that back up over top. And then I'm going to bring out to the next piece I want to crop in. So I want to go to the edge of my two. I want to go into my two. Let's see as far as I can. And I want his arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upward. And then I'm going to pull out into here. And that's going to give me his arm coming out of the two. So like I said, it's called creative cropping. That's what I call it. So let's see. So let's see if I want to go in deeper in that two, or I just want to have his arm flailing all the way out. I think I want his arm flailing all the way out. Oops. Be careful. I made it a little bit bigger. And then you just kind of want to see if it needs to be lined up anymore. And that it's weird right here because that's his thumb, but it makes it look weird. And now I have that. And let's say I don't want this piece right here where you can see this white right here under his arm. I'm going to go click on this, go to background remover, and see that little white piece? I don't want that. I want it just to look like his sleeve. So I'm going to go in there and carefully take that out. And then I'm going to go out of the background remover and see now that little weird white piece so you can see more of the two and that's how that's going to do. So once I'm done with that and I'm and I like where I'm at with my pop out, I can go into file download um, PNG. Um, you can do transparent background or bring it in and do it the background. Um, and we can download it. Let's add a page. Let's change the color of the page to white. Let's bring it back in. Like so so it looks weird because he's got a white background, but don't fret. I'm going to background remove. Oh, it's already background removed. Hold on. Uh-oh. Let me see some. See, this is why I like to background remove inside of Canva versus doing it that way. So let me put a shadow on it and see if the 28 comes out. Okay, so the 28 does come out. Like, whew! I thought it took all that out. I thought it took all the white out. So let's change the background color <laughs> so we can see it. I got scared there for a minute. Y'all did. I did. So there we have it. Um, let's do blue because the... Oh, look. It's changing his uniform color. I didn't mean to do that. Let's change the background color to a blue. There we go. It matches uniform a little bit. And there you go. Like a simple pop-out effect using using frames and a little bit of an angle to your numbers versus uh, let's go into my uploads and like using something the traditional side by side. So that gives you another option to make your numbers still there without kind of losing a lot of I guess action within it because if they're side by side then he's like coming out the bottom and sometimes you know you're losing your numbers a lot because you have to cover a lot because of the action that's going on within it um, so this is just another alternative to kind of make a true like action looking pop out um, this one is my d boss so it looks like if i put this on the white background let me show you um, and that's in one of my previous videos. We'll do the white background. And if you look, it just looks like it's kind of coming. It's debossed inside. So if I take the shadow off of here, it really looks like it's inset. So if I go here, edit, shadows, none. See, it looks like I've kind of stamped that into the background. So that gives that, like, that stamped effect that it's stamped into the background which is a kind of another one. And this one kind of makes it look like it's floating in the background. I can do that. Uh, we can also go up. 
Let me take you on a tangent. We can play with the shadows. Let's do a glow. You can get a drop. And if you do the angle, let's make sure that the angle is all the way to the side, like let's pull the distance in. We want that angle. Let's see. Like, see, like this, because this has the white background. Like, it's, like, kind of fading into there. So you can do stuff like that. So you can play with your shadows and do all kinds of cool things with it, too. Um, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole because I can go down a rabbit hole all day. But on that note, I love you guys. I thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.